is the continuation of the SharePoint Development Framework Challenge. Uh, if you've been following this since the beginning of the series, you notice that uh, it was 30 days when we started this. Well, it's called the SharePoint 30 Day Challenge, but it's taken almost four months to get through it. And part of that is because a lot of things are changing. So in a previous video, we were talking about the uh, tic-tac-toe and we were getting into the React framework. We did not get to pull dynamic data. So all the UR, our React framework information was just using uh, the UI. So now what we want to do, let's go ahead and put this thing into practice. I think uh, as of today, uh, this is the last week of May, uh, SharePoint Develop Framework is pretty pretty mature in the sense that there is a lot of features available now to where we can actually deploy something that's usable uh, that our clients, our customers can, our business users can use actually uh, in production. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this ABC photo site. This is a fictitious uh, photography site. They are worldwide. They have offices, um, a couple offices here in the U.S., an office in London, and they have uh, about 30 or so people uh, within the organization. So what we want to do is to create a contacts web part. And basically what the contacts web part is going to do is allow them to highlight who are the key contacts for a particular department or project team for uh, the various sites that they create. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to do, let's try to walk through this process using uh, TFS agile type process and just kind of go through the motions. This is going to be several videos uh, to kind of get through this. And this video is really just going to highlight the the requirement or the user story that we want to attack. And then in the subsequent videos, that's because I'm going to be building this actually live. Well, not live, but as we go along, this is not built already. So this is actually the first video. And what we want to do is really try to simulate a real project using uh, SharePoint development framework, the React framework, uh, pulling live data, as as well as the agile process and going through stories and tasks and you know uh, vertical slices and all this other good stuff. Because I think you know in the SharePoint world, sometimes that can be tedious. So using this as an example, we can kind of learn uh, along the way, learn, learn together how we can split this. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So. Let's, this is in the this is my TFS project right and, and right now I have this tied to GitHub versus TFS so when you set this up uh, that's an option. We're not going to go into a lot of details here. I, I will show you how I'm getting to this board uh, which is my project board. So my first project I just created this and this TFS instance is actually tied to my ABC Photos organization, O365 tenant. So I'm not logged into this using my Microsoft account. I'm logged into this using an org account that's directly associated to the ABC Photos SharePoint uh, O365 tenant. Okay, so let's, uh, so when you first log in, you may see a screen like similar to this. Uh, what you wanna do is just click on work. And then this is gonna bring you to the dashboard. Now. The, the way the Agile process is set up, the way we're set up here is that we have a feature, and I think this is going to be on, an ongoing challenge, right? Uh, we have a feature, and within this feature, we say, hey, for the modern UI, we need more communication enhancements, right? And then if you click onto this guy here, it's going to say, it's going to have a little story that says, hey, the modern UI is cool and slick, but it's very limited. We need additional custom web parts uh, within the UI uh, to help project managers or site owners uh, to communicate what's going on within their department and or project sites. So let's go ahead and kill this. That looks good. And let's actually dive into the first story that's tied to this. So what my feature is going to do, if it lets me out, come on, I'm done with this screen. Let me out. My Wi-Fi is not that strong today or it's kill it. Oh, this is not good. Okay, finally closed. All right, so let's go back. Uh, so we're in the feature. So now let's go to the story related to this feature. And this is the first user story here. And basically, it's going to read, 
uh, and this is by the product team. They create these. It says, hey, as a, a modern site page, what we need, we need uh, site managers to be able to add in key contacts, right? And what they want to do is to be able to control that. So I know in the classic mode, there is a member's web part or something along those lines that show you everyone who has member access. And what they want to do, they want to control this through like a SharePoint list or something like that to say, uh, we not only do we want to show people that have access to the site, we basically what we want to do is control that says, hey, when you're visiting the uh, human resources site, these are your four main contacts. So if you have an issue with benefits, contact this person. If you have an uh, issue with payroll, contact this person, so on and so forth. So that's a little bit different than the people who have access to the site. And so they want to control that. So one, so here we got uh, number one, let's do a, a SharePoint list of contacts. Uh, for each contact, show display their photo, their job title, and their work phone. Uh, and then there should be a link that links to their full uh, Dell profile. And we want to make sure this is usable uh, within the site pages. So main, meaning usable, uh, it has to be responsive and using the SharePoint development framework, uh, so on and so forth. No iframes or anything like that that comes with add-ins. Okay, so, so if you click on the board, this is going to show all of the subtasks needed to complete this this story. Now, how you set up from an agile perspective, these are called sprints, and ideally you want to have all of these. You want to have this a whole story completed within a sprint, and these are the tasks that need to be completed for in order for to call this story done. Right. So, from a UI perspective, this is actually already active. Uh, we have uh, Madison who's working on this. And if you click into the user story, there's a link to the mock-up. The mock-up is going to give us more detail on what this thing should look like. So if you click into the mock-up, okay, so this is what we have. So as you can see, this is the standard news headline web part. And then underneath here, this is the key context. This is the guy that we want to build. And as of right now, it seems like uh, they're displaying five. But of course, we can use web part properties to get them a little bit more control on how many to display. So if there's 20, maybe we just display the top five or the first five or something like that. Um, here's a link. That, so the round one is the link to, their, to this user's profile. This is their first and last name. That's their job title. And that's the office phone. Now, uh, the other requirement was that when you click on this, it should pop open the details of that person's profile. And this is just going to be the Dell profile. And we're going to try to pop this in a modal window. So that's the requirement. That's the challenge that we're going to take a look at. Now let's take a look. Now let's dive a little bit into the uh, technical design. So let me go in here. And there's, key, there's a few key things we want to make sure that we do technically. One, this guy should use the SharePoint development framework as a model. Uh, it should use the React framework as a client-side dev model. Then we want to use the Office UI fabric for a UI model, UI framework. And it should it should work mainly for the modern site pages, right? And we really can just say modern pages, uh, not so much for classic, right? And, and and basically that if you run into a UI issue where you know if you're trying to develop for both more weight should go for the modern make sure it's responsive design here's another thing uh, uh it should be responsive so we want to maintain that and we we don't want to have to hard code anything or force it to have a certain web so this should be mobile friendly uh what else as far as web part properties uh that should be the title and then display count and they want to specify a list so maybe let's just say the list name um they should be able to specify list name so in the in the event that there are several lists within the same site here we could just say same site and i'm cheating a little bit because i know technically 
that if we do anything a little bit more than this, it could be more complex, but that's where we can use iterations to layer in more and more and more. But I think to get started, this is the technical piece of it, and then we can go in and design it. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's make this active. Oh, we assign it to me. Let's make it active. And then save and close. And then that's going to be our guy. Okay, so um, we are, we're hammered through the UI. So basically, these two are active. So that means that, you know, we got one person working on the, the, the UI design, the other person working with technical design. These two are communicating with each other, trying to get everything buttoned up. Once this is resolved, the web part development should be able to kick in and start developing this piece. Again, all of this work should be completed within the sprint. Now, the one thing we did not do was size this guy. So story points. So you can do, so most teams use like the Fibonacci uh, uh, story point sizing, where it's just like one and then two, then you add two, that's three. And then you add the previous two, it's five and eight and so on, 13, so on and so forth. So as far as like the complexity and level of effort, uh, not really level of effort, uh, that's supposed to be um, not in hours, it's supposed to just be uh, how complex this is going to be. Uh, it's pulling from a SharePoint list. That's pretty ideal within the SharePoint framework. It has some profile stuff in there. So I think there's, uh, the unknown is the APIs uh, available to pull in profile information for a particular user. So that may be a little bit tricky. I'm going to put this one as a phi, where I would say the highest complex thing we should deal with is a 13, unlucky number 13. So you want it. So if 13 is the highest complex, one is the simple. So you got 1, 3, 5, 8, 13. Uh, I'll put this somewhere in the middle. We'll give it a five, okay? So that's going to be our deal there. Uh, and that's it. So let's, let's uh, in the next video, we'll actually start to crack open um, the SharePoint development framework and start a new uh, pro web part project for this guy. We'll call it Contacts, and we'll go from there. Okay, see you in the next video.